Hey guys, welcome back for another week of Ninja Tricks. Um, because of the restrictions and everything, we are not allowed to yet play with the equipment, but hopefully soon. With that said, make sure you have a cleared out area, five by five at least, uh, nice and safe, that you can move around, flip, move, um, and not get hurt. Also make sure you have a parental permission or an adult uh, to make sure that everything you're doing is safe. With that said, let's get to working out. Start off with some arm circles. I know you heard this before, but it's very important that we warm ourselves up, get ourselves ready for these exercises. Arm circles back. Um, once we get into the workout, Remember that the workout is to build up these muscles, to build up that strength. Just go across and give yourself that flexibility and mobility so that when we do get back and are able to use the equipment, um, we're able to be better. It's always about improving ourselves. Go to the other side. I mean, whether it's uh, physically, mentally, um, our standings, anything, we're, we're always constantly trying to improve ourselves and always have a new goal. Grab your elbow, bring it back. So try to find that, that spark, find that thing that you love to do and embrace it. Find, find, find a, a passion. Grab the other, it doesn't even have to be on karate or martial arts. It could, it could be building stuff. It could be carpentry. I love building stuff. I love making things. And I also love martial arts and ninja tricks. All right, so now grab one foot, bring it back. Um, there's just so much stuff to do. So many different things you can do. And when you, you find that thing you want to do, keep doing it, practicing it. The old, that's the only way you get better. Grab the other foot. Oh, apparently I need to do this more. Um, it, it's, it's extremely important also to keep yourself mobile, keep yourself strong and capable so that you can keep doing these things. So that's part of these exercises, is being able to stay strong and still be able to move around and do the things you want to do. Like, like I said, my, my knee just hurt right there. I, I don't know what I did to it, but hey. All right, we're gonna do some uh, toe touches. Reach down. Spread your legs, reach down, stretch out those hamstrings, feel those glutes stretch out. Go to one foot, one side, try to touch your, your toes. I'm just gonna reach for my ankle. If you notice when it's early in the morning, go to this side. It's sometimes a little bit harder because your, your, your muscles haven't been activated. They've been dormant all night, so we're gonna do some twists. So I want you to start off with your hands in front, push back, push forward, push back, push forward. So we're gonna do a little bit <coughs> of an active stretching and warm up here. Try to get ourselves get going a little bit. All right. Now I want you to take your arms and just bounce them, bounce them forward, and then rotate back. Now I want you to lean forward and just bounce them right here, activating the back muscles. Do a little windmill right here. Get that back twisting. The vertebrae is extremely important to stay mobile. I mean, 
It's the, the bridge that connects your upper body to your lower body. It keeps everything going. So it's important to twist that. Some neck rolls. Nice and slow and big neck hold. Push the other way. All right. Now we're gonna get down on the floor. Now we're gonna do some bear crawls. Bear crawls are very good for your core and for your leg strength and for your twitch muscles, your fast twitch. What are your fast twitch muscles? You have slow twitch and fast twitch muscles. So go back and forth with these bear crawls. Slow, slow tw fast twitch muscles. So fast twitch muscles are meant for jumping, uh, running fast, uh, and basically anything that your muscles have to do that they really struggle with doing over a long period of time. But this is allows you to lift things, allows you to like heavy things, allows you to run faster, allows you to jump higher. All right. So we're just going to do some squats now. So feet about shoulder width apart. Bring your knees out when you go down and up. Uh, now your your slow twitch muscles are also important too. These are the things you get, those are the muscles you gain by walking and doing a, a jog, a slower runs over a long distance of time. A lot, marathon runners have usually a lot of slow twitch muscles because those muscles burn energy very efficiently. Try to keep your back straight, and your chest facing forward, sometimes I forget. When you're doing squats, but uh, those slow twitch muscles are very important for doing things like marathons and just overall keeping yourself going over a long period of time. So it's important to have both sets of muscles. I, on, on one hand. I have a very good amount of slow twitch muscles. I could run for at least an hour or two, a couple of hours, without getting super fatigued. But for me to outrun somebody like Jason Luke is very hard because he's got much more uh, fast twitch muscle muscles, so he can jump higher, he can run faster. But I, on the other hand, might be able to, maybe, I don't know, uh, do a longer distance a run than he can because my muscles, I have more slow twitch, efficient muscles for long distance running. All right, so we're gonna go right into the karate skill right here. So we're gonna do a side kick. So, Second kick is really important because it's one of your most powerful kicks. Uh, why is it most powerful? One of the most powerful because the muscles you're using and the your your weight when you do a second kick is placed into that kick. So you bring up the, that kick. You're going to want to chamber, bring it to the side, and twist your foot backwards. So you see how my my foot is twisted towards the backward, back of the room. I bring that foot up, bring it into a pizza kick, bring it out, bring it back, bring it forward. Or bring it forward, bring it back. So again, twist your foot, bring your leg up, level it out, bring it out, bring it back, in. So let's do it with the other side. Bring it up, bring it, uh, twist your foot, Remember to twist your foot. Always twist your foot. Don't want any broken knees. Don't want any broken ankles. You could really hurt your knees if you don't. Bring your foot back and bring your whole body to a side and then kick out. Now, 
like I said, this has a lot of power in it because you're putting a lot of your mass behind this kick. So when I'm standing here, you're, you're, you're bringing it back and it's almost effortless because your body like leans into the kick. So when you bring it back, you're just delivering a massive amount of power and uh, mass into, into the kick. And what, all right, so what is what is uh, energy? Energy is mass. Ma mass and energy are interchangeable. Um, so because basically to get energy, you take mass and you multiply it by the speed of light squared. So the power behind your kick relies heavily on your mass. This is why we rotate into our punches, with why we rotate into our kicks. So when we bring this leg up, we're actually rotating our whole torso and our whole mass is getting shifted into that attack. So that's why side kicks can be so devastating, especially if you have that backup mass to you. So practice that. One, make sure you practice good habits when you side kick. So bring your foot back. Two, and twist, twist that foot. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, let's practice the other side. Let's get this out of the way. One, two, make sure you keep your hands up. Three, four, ooh, almost fell over there, that happens. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. All right, for your karate skill, your, that's your karate skill. For your uh, tricking skill, I'm actually gonna refer you to a video of Mr. Chris Ulivari for a, him to show you how to do an aerial. Back is flat. You want to make it as flat as you 
again. I'm going to switch the beat and turn it out. So now it's a real a regular cut pop. Butterfly. Butterfly kick. So a lot of people do a pop for a butterfly. Since we're trying to do an aerial, we don't want to focus on the actual butterfly itself. Of course, we want to learn how to do a butterfly. And that's one of the things of a, uh, in a butterfly, but we're working on the aerial. So, we don't want to focus on that. Okay? So, then, when you get to the um, butterfly kick, um, um, vertically, horizontal, uh, horizontally, and then bring the head down, feet up, down, and feet up, and all the way until basically up, so yeah. Okay? So, here, that's horizontal. You bring your head down and feet up a little bit more. And you put your head down a little bit and feet up a little bit more until you have it all yourself all the way upside down. Beginning, I may or may not have done it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You see, I do this little twist to get air. Okay? I do this twist to get into it so I can get air. That was really bad. But I will, I will twist to the back, to the front, here, turn, and then do it. Okay? So that. I'm going to call it the momentum twist because you're twisting, you're getting momentum up or air, whatever you want to call it. You want to jump higher and do it correctly. Okay? So I'm going to show you guys one last time the momentum twist and the aerial. Did that wrong? But that was a good one too. But, and sometimes if you get really good at an aerial, stand and go right into an area, okay? So one more time, I'm going to show you guys the uh, uh, momentum twist. Just back, just like that. That was the area. So this week for a game, I'm going to do a little bit more of a challenge instead of an actual straight up game. Um, take a ball, and we're gonna actually practice those side kicks. So, one thing about side kicks is power, of course. But if I kick a side kick to slow at somebody, they're just gonna grab my foot. So another thing is gonna be speed. So I want you to take a ball, speed and accuracy. So take a ball, something that's not too heavy, something that can float around and be mobile without damaging things. I want you to throw it up in the air and try to side kick it. Whoa! I almost damaged my camera. See, that is why we do sit back to safety. All right, so try to side kick it and try to side kick it not into the, anything that you're gonna break, but Speed and accuracy, because those speed, power, and accuracy are the triangle of any move. You're gonna need the speed to get it there. You're gonna need the accuracy to hit what you want, and you need to get the power to actually deal the damage. So, let's practice this a few times. Oh, I actually kicked it back to myself. How about that? That wasn't really a good side kick because that. But I need to make sure my my kicks are actually projecting the power forward. So I want to make sure you, you're delivering that power at a horizontal direction. So practice that. Challenge yourself. See if you can do it outside. See how far you can kick the ball. Be 
Amazing. Excellence. So that's it for this week of Ninja Tricks. Hope you had fun and um, hope uh, we eventually get to see each other soon. Bye guys.